This is part two of our video on Le Chatelier, which talks about the logic of how to figure his shifts. So, first of all, we got to recognize a mistake from the first video. Um, if you go back there, you'll see that um, I had labeled these guys 33, and it's actually 34 that I was doing. So we'll go back to 33 in this video, and we'll see exactly how to do those as well. So going back to number 33, this is our, our little equation here that we're going to be working with. And in this case, we're dealing with the pressure of oxygen being increased by one mole of O2 into the reaction vessel. So what we're doing is we're adding this guy. And that becomes our stress. So what we are doing for a stress is add O2. And then in Le Chat's response, what does he want to do? The opposite, correct? So he is going to want to take away the O2. And a take away is always going to be an opposite. So we put that in, whoops, opposite. And then over here, we're going to try and figure out what opposite is from O2. So we look where O2 is in the equation. And the opposite of that side is the right side. So Lachat is going to have to shift to the right to take away the O2. And so this is going to be a right shift. So that's our first one, letter A. And then let's go to letter B. Now, this is something you might not understand, so let me explain. A desiccant, which is a material that absorbs water, is taking water out. Okay, it's actually forming a hydrate inside of the little package that where you have the desiccant. But essentially, in terms of how much oxygen is in the air, which is the gas water, or how much water is in the air, I should say, the gas water, and this guy is sitting here on the right side. So essentially what we have done is we have, by putting in the desiccant, removed some uh, water. So let's go back. So we did a takeaway, and that was of H2O. And so what is the shot going to want to do? The opposite, of course. So he is going to want to add, and that's H2O. And then if he is going to add, that means same. The only way that Lachat can add is to place something on the same side or is to move towards the same side that the water is on. So let's go back. We see water is on the right, and the same side is, of course, the right. And that's how we figure out that right is the shift. That becomes the shift. Okay, let's go down to 33. And in 33, we are going to have a situation where we're looking for the system is compressed and ammonia liquefies. All right, when that ammonia liquefies, and this right here is ammonia, NH3. So when it goes from gas to liquid, if you remember from earlier, gases and liquids, okay, gas is over here. They affect equilibria, but liquids do not, pure liquids. So that, that ammonia got, got to become a pure liquid, and that takes gas out of the reaction mixture. And when we do that, it is like removing ammonia. So the ammonia gets removed, and ammonia is sitting right here. And that then is a takeaway of an H3. All right. And so what is the shot going to want to do? The opposite, of course. So he's going to add the NH3 back as best he can. Now, how is he going to do that? 
add is same. So we go back and we look and see where is the ammonia? It's on the left. And the same side is the left. That tells us that's the shift. And so, our, yeah, in this case, it's the left. In the last case, the water was on the right, and same was going to the water. So that's how we get a left shift. Now we'll do number 36. And in 36, we're working with this equation right here. And the things that we're going to be doing are, of course, on the next page down on the left, because we were at the bottom of that page. And I kind of got the arrows here to help your my eyes move over. So tell whether the equilibrium will shift to the left or, the, or to the right, or will not be affected. Same kind of um, directions we have gotten before. Suppose this reaction has already reached equilibrium, that's important, and predict the effect. So here we go. We'll do number A, which is going to be uh, adding UO2 as a solid is added to the system. So let's go over here. We're going to, the supposed stress was adding UO2, which is a solid. And we do that with an S. Okay, Le shot can't react to that because solids do not affect equilibria. And for that little piece of information, if you return to the thing that I was hoping you would have copied down, you will see here that solids and liquids do not affect any equilibria. So we go back here and we say none. The shot can't react to it. And over here, it's another none. So that was pretty easy. No reaction. Or no, no, uh, I'm sorry, no shift from Le Chatelier. So we'll go back now and we'll look at the problem one more time for letter C. And the reaction is performed in a glass reaction vessel, HF. And I'm reading from right here. HF attacks and reacts with the glass. Okay, what they're telling you there is the HF is being removed because if it reacts with the glass, it's not a gas anymore. So let's go back over and we're going to say remove, that's the stress, uh, or take away. And that was fluorine, F2. Fluorine is pretty reactive stuff. And I'm sorry, this is HF. I did that a little wrong. So HF is added, or I got take away. Going to take away the HF, and what is Lashad going to do now? Of course, he wants to add. Oops, in the wrong place. There we go. Add HF. And add is always going to be same. So let's go back and let's look at that equation again. And that's going to be back up here. HF is on the left side of the equation. See it there? Okay, since HF is on the left, that means that same is also left. So that means the shift is going to be to the left. All right, I'm going to do one more of these, and then we're going to move on to another problem. And on this one, I'm just going to read it. The size of the reaction vessel is increased. That does a lowering. It lowers pressure. Lower pressure. So my shot wants higher pressure. And that happens with more moles. Higher pressure means more moles of gas. And so we have to look at this equation carefully and see how many moles are on each side. So we count the coefficients on the left. We have 1 plus 4 makes 5 on the left. And on the right, we have 1 plus 2, which is 3. So more moles is over here on the left side. So to get more moles, the shot is going to shift left. I hope you're following the logic on these things. It's very, very important. We're going to have to skip to another video now. 
and on that video we'll continue and do a couple more problems.